If you silence Unlam the cannon, IPOP will rise to shut down Nigeria. Bishop Francis Oke won Tuare. Bishop Francis Wale Oke, the national president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, has appealed to the federal government of Nigeria under the administration of President Mohamed Buhari not to silence the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran IPOP, Mazi Nnamdi Kano, and Yoruba activist Sunday Ibu, aka Adeyemo. Oke urged the Buhari government to practice good governance and equity as a means of resolving the agitations across Nigeria, adding that agitations will never stop and others will rise if Kano and Igbo are silenced. The bishop spoke while addressing a press conference on the state of the nation at the resumption camp of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Mowe, Ogo State, on Thursday. Okay said, we appeal to the government to make sure that there is equity in the participation and representation in governance by the people. Until that is done, agitation will never stop. If we silence Kano, I, I tell you, Nigerian will be closed down. Daily Post reports that Kano is presently in detention in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, why his trial continues after he was rearrested by the security operatives. Two weeks ago, Igbo's house was invaded by the DSS a few days ago. He is currently on the run as nobody has seen him since the attack on his residence. It is not only this bishop that has been issuing a note of warning to Barry. Barry is a very stubborn, very stubborn leader. I've never seen a leader that is as stubborn as President Mama Barry. He does things at his own terms. At his own time. Okay, look at when he was to choose a chief of staff. Why the wife was just fooling herself, you know? Choosing someone that the husband must appoint as chief of staff. His aides too were fooling themselves, but everyone were believing that it is the one that the wife chose that, that will be accepted by the president. <laughs> My dear viewers, so funny, so funny and so surprising that President Mobari came back. He left quietly, he left Asuru quietly, moved out. And went for his chief of staff and brought him to Asorov and presented him to his aides and wife. It was like a big blue on their cheek. Everybody was surprised. Even the wife opened his mouth. The next thing that came out of the mouth of the wife was, What? We never discussed this. Can you imagine? You are embarking on such a journey and you never discussed it with your wife. Is that not crazy? Hmm? Is that not crazy? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It means that he doesn't carry his wife along with so many decisions that he's making. And it's very bad. How can you be making such a big appointment and you did not carry your wife along? You do not even allow him to know how to know. Even if you don't want to, um, even if you don't want any anybody from her, at least let him know. At least she will have one or two advice for you, and she will pray for you to, to have a good chief adv uh, 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 chief of staff. At least, hmm. but I never told his wife. Bari's government is the only government that have the highest advisors in all the presidents that has been ruling Nigeria. But I tell you that Bari has never, has never, you know, has never for once listened to any of them. Any of them. Can you imagine? Is that right? 
It's not right. Completely wrong. And it's not acceptable one bit. When you try to advise him on this on the issue, the next thing is he will grow annoyed and you know if you are his aide, he will rather dismiss you. Dismiss you from office. Or if you are not his aide, he will send DSS for you. So you tell me, is such an action a good one? Is such an action a welcomed one? It's never a welcomed one. You, you as a president, you are a, a, a world figurehead. The whole world knows that you are the president of Nigeria. So you're supposed to be welcoming. You're supposed to be attentive and obedient. But party is not of, it's not any of this. And it is paining a lot of people. A lot of people are not happy because of this now. A lot of the people are not happy. Do you understand now? So I will tell you emphatically that Bori has not been doing it well. He has not. He has not been measuring up. He has since he has his, his own office, it it has been um, um one deceit or the other. And he now worsened the whole thing by electing a very wrong aid. Who's supposed to be putting him right? But rather, what they do is um, is to deceive people. Do you understand? Deceive people, and um, and they uh, and start and tell and, and advise Barry wrongly. Is that right? It's not right. So I tell you, my dear viewers, that Barry need to get himself restructured. He himself also need to be restructured because he is not doing it right. A lot of errors that he has made that need an, an absolute correction, but Barry will never listen to you. It is that that is in his mind that is going to do, and that is why he that's why the country is in a very bad shape. For because of inability to listen, because of inability to carry out a proper consultation of some of people hmm? so it doesn't go well at all so you really need to be talked to you really need to be called to order there are areas that your wife's supposed to play because all the work as a president is not left on your shoulder that's why you have a wife you delegate some assignment to your wife to help you carry out on your behalf you don't you don't oh my god i don't know i don't know he knows best anyway but no matter what there is a plan if it, it, it is if if um there must not be any error in an administration then that administration needs proper planning you understand so the president is not planning well that is why we are still um where we are okay so um my good people in the house i don't know what your take concerning this maybe but please deem it free to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates thank you